Hello everyone, I'm your host Flair Bliss and welcome back to your turn to die in this episode. What the hell is going to happen? But we get paired up with some AIs which unfortunately have already died in their human form. Let's search around this room. Let's see if there's anything here. Red flowers. Isn't watering flowers a pain? If you have love, even watering can be fun. Exactly. A bright red book. On the back it says, please return on time. Is this a bored book? And time is something which we do not have. Right. Bed, a fluffy bed. Sure feels like a girl's room. I mean, this is a lot different from my room. Here's a compact dresser. Should I open it? Absolutely. Open the drawer. A paintbrush and paints. Obtain a paintbrush and paints. What are you doing? Hello. <laughs> if you want that, you can have it. Anyways, here's your tea. Sure, thank you. Hey, are you not an obstructor? Oh no, I'm an obstructor, but I don't like to fight. I like to listen to people talk here. This is the discussion room. Discussion room? Sarah, you've always been with your allies. You never had time to think to yourself, right? Take another look at your feelings. Speak the truth and you can sort out your mind. I don't trust this girl whatsoever. I don't trust a girl with pancakes on her head. The truth. Ah, uh, this tea's too good. Doesn't seem poisoned. So Ranamu's drinking it too. Don't drink it. She's really laying on the pressure. Hmm. Keep it on. Keep going at it. Something's got to break soon. Don't drink the goddamn tea. Don't drink it. It will cause you your entire life to go upside down. I guess we're going to have to drink it then. For goodness sakes. I take a sip of the tea. I was able to relax just a little. Always with my allies, huh? Maybe she was right. I'd hardly had the time to think calmly to myself. Because I knew if I showed such an opening, despair would fill my heart. But it's different right now. There's no one here. I want to escape with everyone. Sure enough, I want to escape with everyone. I was tormented by hallucinations of Joe, but that wasn't really it. That was my own voice. I was having Joe say the thoughts I was suppressing. Victory is on the line, right? Victory? Only one person can survive. Then the death game will end. Such a scary thing. Wait a sec. So only one person can survive this game after all? Yeah. Six people left. The decision is near. It might even be within the day. Inconceivable. We won't sacrifice anyone else. But, you know. Can you kill Midori? I can't sympathize with a low life like that, but when I see somebody moving around, I guess I can't help but see them as human. I can kill him. If it's to protect my allies, I'll kill him. I'm going to end this death game. Sarah. <laughs> what about you, Ranamu? Huh? Are you a pair for the objective's sake, or are you partners? You can get another look at yourself too. Come back sometime, both of you, because this is a place to find yourself. I'm exhausted. Yep, very, very exhausted. The whole room has this nice smell. Yep, you smell, you lose anyway. Sarah, uh, can we talk for a sec? Let's head back first. I'm a little tired. No, it's important. It has to be now. I don't want to hear it right now. Look, just listen. You see, there's a person from Antinoa in our midst. I'm thinking there's a special info only I have. Antinero. In other words, there's some there's someone who's part of the kidnappers organization. One of the survivors. Is it one of the survivors? All I know is there's a human from Antinero. But dummies are dull, so if you think about it, it's as you say. No way. Unthinkable. Keiji, Kana, Rico, one of them might be from Antinoa. No, it's Kutaro. I can't conceive of it. Sorry for troubling you. But now was the only time I could say it. Right, yeah, so if it were not an ears width of another person. 
I don't know, I don't know you at all, Sarah, but being just a pair, I kind of don't like it. So, just one more thing. What? Nah, yeah, sorry, it's nothing. If you want to say something, you should say it rather than say, Ash, I've got something to... No, I've got nothing to say. You shouldn't say that, my friend. The gate itself. Nothing going on here. The boxing ring, which we've already fathomed out. This art room. You two. Maduro told us to get our memories back, didn't he? Were our memories erased, I wonder? Normally that would be inconceivable. But Sephelin did have that machine. So I guess it's not impossible. Hmm. Makes me sleepy, looking after a kid in an art gallery. Go ahead, snooze, we'll leave you behind. <laughs> oh, scary. Rico! When I think about Neo, I feel like I could become a demon. I'm gonna have revenge! We gotta do this! Hell oh, yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this for our friend's sake! Right, um, locker. You too. Be sure to check even the unopening lockers. Keep an eye out for traps for you. Of course, I don't want to be destroyed. Hey guys, endurance anyhow. Are you sturdier than us? No idea, don't really want to test it either. If only they'd make us of some super made us of some super alloy, there'd be no way we're dying. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be all stiff. I mean look, my skin's all soft. Please sir, go ahead and touch my cheek. Nah! No, don't! No, 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 I'm not gonna touch! I'll give you a rub instead. Oh, I'll give him a rub. Uh, not there. It's true, your shoulders don't feel stiff at all. No way, I'm healthier than I was a human. Now that I think about it, won't age or get sick anymore either, huh? Wow, isn't that just the best? Being a doll's not so bad, actually. If only if the doctor for Mad Father found this universe, he'll be super delighted as to what he could turn people into. How positive. How positive indeed, for goodness sakes. This goddamn obstruction stuff like that. Hmm. Like, we need to investigate a lot of stuff. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. Nothing inside. You still about it? Hmm. Great, we're gonna go for this again. No, don't touch. No, I'm fine. Yeah, what do you hate? I don't hate, it's not like that. We touch instead, Mr. Katara. I'm good. Now that I think of it, yeah. We get it already. <laughs> Being with Maya's getting me down sometimes. Katara. Uh, I don't see Katara as the flirty type, I'm not gonna lie. Do you not like pairs? Do you not like being paired with Mai? Ain't like that. Mai doesn't seem like bad per doesn't seem like a bad person. It's just I wish you'd met all normal like. It's tough at a time like this. Must be hard to switch between on and off. Yeah, it does seem to be the case. What do we do now? A painting with an unfinished section. I can see borderlines, it's like a colouring book bitch. Use the paints! Okay, let's try painting it. Are our art skills good enough? Alright, it's turned out great. Whoa. And there's a switch behind it. The part I painted opened like a door. Not bad, but it must have been a device that reacted to the paint. My efforts painting. Wasted. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah. For that motion, there's a device like a circuit breaker. I think this could be the power of, for the elevator. Okay, let's switch it on then. And doesn't seem to have been a trap. Let's check the elevator. Hmm. Let's see, the elevator is silent. Has been activated. Push the down button. The button is responding. Up. Ah, it goes up though. It worked. It actually worked. What do we do? We'll just have to call everyone and try it out. R right, let's go get them. Let's go get them, chiefs and people. Right. Ah, uh, the elevator's been fixed. I'm tired of watching the brat, so I want to get looking for Midori. Yeah. What, the elevator? Gotcha, the battle's nearing. <laughs> Battle. Oh, uh, you got the elevator working? Yeah, once you're done looking here, let's assemble. Okay. Okie pokey then. Where is KG? Kutaro and the Baker Girl was here. Hey, Sarah. 
Keiji, so you are here? Yep, since Jin was getting eager. Ahem, I'm the leader, so I've got to search hard and keep my subordinate in check, meow. Jin, your subordinate? <laughs> That's me, we've quickly fallen into an in inverted relationship. So have you learned anything? Not a thing. Well, come to the elevator, we've got it working. That's our server, I'll be there. <laughs> Suit and specs, you come along too, meow. Right, wait for me. I heard a click near my feet. Huh? Stepped on something? Uh-oh. Uh, uh. My soon specs, are you floating? Oh dear. That's a trap, alright. Soon specs, what's going on? What's this trap? We have to save him. Exactly, we have to save him. It looks like a magnet of sorts, so I'm not gonna lie. Right. Oh dear me. Can't breathe. What? is this? Well, it looks like they're made of some kind of metallic substance. Hmm. So this is definitely the locker room trap. Hmm. Continue doing actions to pass the time. What? Serious specs? What the? This trap. Calm down. Stay calm. Higher suckers clean from the ceiling. Hmm. Observe situation. First, let's observe and see what's going on. If it's like before, there should be tools to solve the puzzle. But this time, I don't see those anywhere. I know the lockers won't open either, so what exactly? Please hurry. Hayasaka is struggling. My neck! My neck hurts! Someone help! Hmm. What do we do here? Observe the situation. Yes, I don't know. What should I do? Hmm. There's no guidance of this one, so it's just gonna have to be a, a guesstimate then. I don't think it's been pulled with thin wires. I'll save you! Jin steps back into the room. And. Now Jin's there. Oh, good. This room's dangerous. It's magnetism. The black plate on the scene is pulling in their collars. No way, that's practically like they're being hunned. Both of them are struggling. Hmm. This is not good. Switch on the floor. I don't think this is going to be it. Hmm, who knows what will happen if I step too much further into the room. Crap. Suddenly there's a mechanical noise. Uh-uh. And they both fell. Oh, you okay? And Jin too. Ah, hello, can you hear me? Midori! Sorry, that locker room trap was for an execution, you see. I didn't intend to use it, but it looks like it malfun- Oh yeah, right. I had to stop it. Are those two okay? Shut up. Jin's unconscious. So he's alive. Oh goody. We serve- We can still play plenty more. God, what an awful man. How's Jin? He hit his head on the scene pretty hard, but thanks to his hood, the wound's minor. But if he'd hung for much longer, he would have started to suffocate. I spoke in one accent, man. He would have died. That was no malfunction. He just wants the dummies to... Uh, hey, what do we do with him? Leave him somewhere? No! If an obstructor finds him, he'll... Hiya, sucker. Can you carry him? Me? Jin's your boss, right? Alright, I'll carry Jin and come with you. It's safer to be in a group, too. Understood. Hinako. What is in your little head, Hinako? Hmm. Let's go to the elevator then and see what's going on. What? Sarah, look, the elevators are working. Jin, what happened? Don't tell me, Hayasaka. Relax, okay? Jin's just passed out. Nothing to worry about. Focus on the elevators for now. It seems they work, but is it really okay to get on them? Of course it is! We've tested them out! <laughs> uh. There's two of them. Don't tell me it's one of them a trap. Huh. <laughs> 
Ride whichever one you like. Try your luck. Obviously, the right elevator is the right one. I'll take the right one. Can I go with you? Seems kind of unlucky to not choose the one Sarah chose. Just get on whichever. Let's move. Fine. We shall do that. Sit still beside ourselves with fear. The elevator doors close behind on us. And so we begin to move. Unsure of what awaits us, we moved forward. And there's some scraps down there. Looks like we arrived at that incident. Hey, long time no see. Good, so you arrived safely too. What a relief. Guys, the door might be on this floor. Be cautious. Right. There's papers on the ground. I wonder what this is. Is everyone well? I'm getting very bored, so I wrote you this letter. I'll give you a map, so please come meet me soon, Midori. What a weird letter. By map, does he mean... Okay, sure enough, it's a map of this floor. This is where we are now. There's another locker room up here as well. There's no gates, but the locker room is another common room. You can now switch between floor maps. Lovely. How on earth do we actually switch between floor maps, though? Like, how do we actually look at... Oh, we can just... We just move, sorry. <laughs> good, good beans, so... Right. Classroom, it should be there. Hmm. Now, let's go to the locker room first. Eh, not again. Huh? This room is just like the other one. Careful, everyone. Seems a bit cleaner than the one downstairs. Yes, yeah, almost feels like it's an un unused room. Right, something's lying there. A transceiver. Obtained a transceiver. If we had the other one, we could probably use it to keep contact. This is my, do you copy? Maybe a little bit like that. Yes, this is Modori. Thought of a way to kill me. Ah! <laughs> See you later. That made my heart stop. If you had a heart. Oh! They're AI, so they don't have hearts. Looks like the other transceiver is with Midori. And a small speaker is installed here. It can be removed. Ain't this a voice recorder? Huh? Might have got a voice recorded on it, but yeah, let's not test it. As in, like, record something on it. There's a switch on the back. Should I press it? Sure. Press the switch on the speaker. This is the first trial. What? You have five minutes. If you cannot escape in time, you lose your life. You are not alone. Your face is tied to someone you cannot see. However, if you refuse this connection and are willing to betray them, you can leave safely. Follow the voice in your heart. That's the whole thing. As I suspected, this room was used for a first trial. The first game we were made to do after being brought here. A, co a cooperation-based trial. Haven't heard anything about this type before. Excuse me, dummies. Does this recording sound familiar? Nope, not at all. We only saw the moment of our death, see? Yes, the start of our trial was cut from the video. Can't remember anything just before we died. Is that so? If this is also a hint related to our memories, but we might need to have a discussion of our first trials again. Obtained a voice recorder. We have these things. Nothing else in this room. Okay, so that is what one would call a dead end. But let's go here first. Class... Wait a minute. This is Sarah's classroom, isn't it? Ain't this a school? Attending school feels like it was such a long time ago now. And there's a bag on there. This is my school bag. For real? Should we look inside? Run and we open the bag. What's this dog mascot thing? That's... Ranamu, could you let me have that? Huh? What the hell? Is it important? It's okay, KG. This is a memento my best friend wore. What? How mean-spirited to make a copy of it. Do you mean... Joe? You know about him? I just heard a little bit. I see. Put it in my pocket. Joe, I'll make up for your regrets. That suspicious is a green book. Sure sticks out. Hmm. Poster. What's this? Consent form. 
For what exactly? Yeah, we need to find out the identity of this consent form. This thing! What is it, Rico? What's the matter? This looks familiar. What in the... Where have I seen something like this? KG? I signed... My name? KG? Uh, uh, that's... Right. Kana also... Signed her name. What the... Everybody but me is? Are they remembering the past? Their memories with Midori? In that case, why am I not? Gah, I'm so close to a memory, clearly! But the important things are hazy. Past or hazy. Maybe we'll find out if we proceed. Yes. Thanks. This goddamn consent form. Why are we the only ones who have a blank slate in our memory? Right. Investigate what's on the two, sh two shelves. No, that's the locker. Investigate what's on the blackboard. Uh, please. 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 Oh, that must be the police thing on the top right. Ugh. What? Guessing higher suckers will one find it familiar this time? Yeah, it looks like it. Only this computer's turned on. This desktop. Maybe there's some sort of information. I looked at the screen and saw an image being displayed. Isn't that a picture of me? That's... Well, for... There's height, there's weight, and some other numbers I don't get. It's almost like a physical exam. Can we stop looking at that for now? Hayasaka, he knows about this. Press him. Hayasaka, what's the meaning of this? Hold on, I didn't research this because I wanted to. Is this your computer? What's your aim, you damn pervert? Oh, shoot. I'll confess. The company I work for deals in medical machinery and information, and because of that job, I got to know a man from Asunoro. On the surface, Asunoro is an upstanding company that does clean research, but I learned that it has another face. Another face? They connect to shady businesses and produce illegal medicines, things of that nature. I even heard rumour that among those were drugs and euthanizing medicines. Ugh. I also heard about inhumane research that wasn't to be spoken of. Thinking about it now, that was probably research into reproducing humans. Cloning? And so you just gave them my information? Not just yours. I was told to get information on everyone. Blank! Don't tell you that covers us too! I didn't know. I had no idea what they'd do to me if I resisted. Their power's too immense. It's hardly even an exaggeration to say they control the dark side of society. Shut up! What do you use this data for? Depending on your answer, I may just have to kick your ass right there. Here. S stop. What are you doing, Meow? Jin. Why am I being carried around, Wolf? Meow, yeah, let me down soon, Specs. Ah, sorry. Good for you, soon, Specs. You stopped the ceiling trap, Meow. Uh, um. We were able to stop it thanks to you, Jin. I knew it, Meow. You should be... Shut up. Thanks, Jin. <laughs> Took the wind out of my sails. I've been saved. I'm a leader, Meow. That's only natural, Wolf. You're a big man, Jin. Come here and show me that wound. Come to think of it, my head kind of hurts. Do something, Muscle Gorilla. Muscle Gorilla. Whew, I was only scrapped by my allies there. All thanks to Jin. He seems fond of you. Is he really? Even though he calls me suit and specs? Don't think of that as a bad thing. Yeah, maybe because of that, in fact. When we first got here, there was someone else in a suit and glasses. That was Professor Mishima. It wasn't for long, but Jin and him acted together. But he died. Yep, killed with his collar. Still not sure where his head is even now. Oh dear. Think of it from Jin's perspective. It was the first time he'd seen a person he had conversations with die before his eyes. Couldn't he have been saved? Maybe he had regrets like that. Is Jin associating me with him? And that's why he tried to protect me? Maybe so. What an idiot. He need died over that for the sake of someone he barely even knows? When I'm not even human anymore? Well, <laughs> doesn't seem that part matters to Jin. 
love goes beyond. I say, love transcends species. Let's go. You don't want to get separated. Yeah. Exactly. We don't want to do that. All right. Anything else? A yellow book. On the back it says, please return on time. Sticky tape. Only this computer's turned on. I at least want to hide this screen. The computer screen is blank. Not powered on. Whiteboard. Uh, shelves full of documents, medical supplies. We're obviously not going to be able to search that. Um, really intriguing. Really intriguing. Library. So many books. Is this a library? Pretty complex for the library. It's like a maze. Just follow the map. Don't go any weird directions. You won't get lost, alright? Thanks, Rico. Thanks for the obvious answer. Righty who then, what do we do within this lab? Uh, there's an unnatural gap in the yellow books. Uh, green books, red books. We need to collect all these books then, I imagine. And this KG uh, is a police box. Kind of makes my heart pound to visit here. How so? Are you, do you get some kind of thrill or rush visiting the police station? You naughty girl. A parked police car. Doubt there's any fuel. The door's open though. Huh. There's a license sitting in on the seat. What? Is it yours or your boss's? KG? Yes, yeah, sure enough. This must be the place of memories for your friendly policeman. If we need memories, guess I gotta tell you now. You remember the story I told you about why I want to be a policeman? Yes, it was about somebody that saved your bicycle within the river. Oh. Yo, kiddo, hurt yourself again? Ah, it's that patrolling geezer. I usually prefer Mr. Policeman, okay? I'm not a geezer. Leave me alone. I just stripped. Huh? What a fibber. You got in a fight, right? I saw it happen. Ugh. Drop by the police box. We've got tasty coffee. You think a kid like this wants coffee? Ah, so that's why he started punching. I mean, those guys were making fun of me. Fists of justice, I'm fond of it, but that's not really very nice. Why not? I was in the right, wasn't I? Exactly, the more right you are, the less reason to stop you from throwing hands, right? The cops use force to stop criminals, right? At times, sure, but... Well now, kiddo. Could it be you want to be a policeman? So what if I do? Well, huh? Did you see your friendly policeman and want to become one too? <laughs> That's a problem. Kiddo. No. KG. I've got something nice for you. Huh? It's Mr. Policeman's good luck charm. That thing you're always carrying, ain't it important? Yeah, it'd be trouble if I lost it. But I don't want it. And like, isn't this thing meant as a wish for safe childbirth? Yeah, because Mr. Policeman's gonna be a dad soon. Okay, so let's do this, KG. When you become a policeman, come bring this back to me. What? Well, duty calls. Come visit sometime, KG, and don't leave your coffee next time. <laughs> hey! I can't make any promises. I got my hopes up for you. Thanks, Mr. Policeman. So, yeah. Haha. <laughs> Never thought the day would come. I'd tell that to somebody. KG. You opened up on your own for once. That's the first time you've willingly chosen to tell us about yourself. Yes, it is. Maybe I wanted you to know about it, Sarah. Huh. <laughs> And here I was damn sure this was the place I got ripped off whenever, whenever I got up to violence. Ah, oh, what an awful memory comparison. Alright, man. Alright. Not even a single desk, it's completely empty. Hmm. Where does one go now? Huh, looking at the map, we've been everywhere on this floor. And the door wasn't anywhere, damn it. Strange. Hmm. Is there somewhere we didn't go? Is there somewhere we haven't been yet? Like a secret room, say? Can't think of it. I feel like this floor 5 map is strange. Yeah, because there should be a secret room below the library. 
is this spot here. Mm hmm. Here it is. It has to be the exact same layout as floor four, but there's no center room on floor five. Maybe it's just not drawn here. It's possible. Where do you, so where'd be the point of having such a similar layout otherwise? If it's the same layout as floor four, there's only one room that's connected to the center, the library. And what we need to do is to get all the books. Hmm. If there were a center room accessible from this maze like library, it'd be this way. Oh, you know what? Let's just enter the room regardless. There really was a room here. Midori ain't here. Maybe it's elsewhere. Maybe he's elsewhere here. Great. What do we do from here on out? What does a flare blitz do in a situation like this? Speakers. A mass of switches and knobs. I'm not going to touch them at random. Monitor. Blue human, red doll, yellow vacant. Coughing control system. So he was here after all, actually. He was here when we first made it. But then again, that couldn't be true, so... Hmm... Just thinking of timing. Like, how could he have done this? Coughing control system. Human doll vacant. What is this? I'm thinking that too. What on earth is it? Uh, various equipment including a microphone. It's like a PA broadcast room. Sure is. I'm going to touch them at random. Monitors. The monitors display all the places we've been. Like the cemetery and the police box. Whoa, this must be security camera footage. How creepy. This looks like a room for the floor master. It does in a way... Okay, let's touch the knobs at random then. No good, seems like nothing will happen unless they're used properly. Hey Sarah, what if you had to be a trap doing that? I suppose that was a close one. Uh, yeah, not a great idea. Hmm. Let's search a little more, Sarah. I'm trying, boss. I'm trying. I am just, oh there, there's a call on my desk. Let's take the collar. What if this is a trap? Won't it explode? Stop freaking out. We're taking it. If we can analyze it, we might even find out how to remove these things. And what if that makes them explode? Boom. <laughs> Stop screwing around, stupid. This ain't no time for horseplay. Uh, well, it's dangerous. So let your friendly policeman take it, all right? And that lit up. The monitor turned red. What? Hi there. Ah, you called? S Sal? Ah, uh, good day. Uh, who are you guys? What's with this guy? An AI? I'm Shin Tiskimi. <laughs> nice to meet you. Shin Tiskimi, Sal's real name. Um, do you need something? It's about some of you all staring at me. Ah, uh, Sal. Do you know who Kano is, Sal? Sorry, I don't really understand. Who are you? Memories before the death game. Uh, how much do you know about the death game? Death game? What's that? That sounds dangerous. Doesn't seem to know a thing. No, he's similar, but this isn't Shin. This is probably a reinitialized AI, right? What? The AIs are brought close to the real pe people by updating their knowledge and personalities. In other words, the Sal we're looking at is Sal from before the death game, who knew nothing. Or else... Shin Tiskimi, before he even took on an alias. What have you guys been talking about? Doubt he's got any info for us, then. Even so, I want as much as we can get. Is there anything about Midori? Midori, that is, the real Sal Hayori. Please tell us about him. This Sal you've been talking about, sure enough, you meant Hayori, huh? We're actually acquainted, so he wants to know a bit more about him. He's a scary friend of mine. Friend? I think I was in high school. I met him at school and we started talking. But whenever I looked into his eyes, I felt really restless. I was so scared. I started sweating. I got anxious. 
He really seemed to enjoy seeing me like that. Would you call that friendship? Nope. I only found this out later, but he wasn't even a student at my school. Who he really is, I really truly know nothing. Though I learned a lot of things at his house. You had a lot of acquaintance, sir. Yeah, but he... One day, he died. Oh, Alice Yabusame. What are you doing? Hey, feeding the bloodlust? Midori. Ah, that's mine, don't you know? Now stop getting friendly with him, you know. Sorry, I'll turn off right away. Now then, say, could you return that collar to me? Huh? Would it be a problem if you lost it? I mean, that's the collar I was wearing. It'd be so lonely if I was the only one safe. No reason to give it back. If he could take it off, maybe we can figure out how to remove these ourselves. Sheesh. That's a collar for the dead. This may completely different from your collars. <sighs> oh, well, guess I'll use a spare. You put it on yourself? Are you out of your mind, man? And talk about cocky. Aren't you scared to enter the enemy's camp? Oh, I'm scared. That's why I've got a gun. It has four bullets. What? Don't worry, if you win, you can cheerfully advance to the next floor. But I'll try my best to make it one shot, one kill. I want to test at least four people with me. Now, shall we? Are we really doing this? Can we think of another way? <laughs> think of another way. Is there no other way? Huh? Are you really going to be satisfied with simple violence, Midori? It seems that unsettled him. Let's establish some rules for this fight. This is your holy death game, right? <laughs> you truly are the greatest, Miss Sarah. Right then. In that case, why don't we play tag? Midori took something from his pocket and pressed a button. Huh? Well, that doesn't seem good. The person with red light... Is it? A thing like this again? After exactly one hour, a person who's it loses. Nice and simple, isn't it? If you don't want to lose, just tag someone. But wait! Still questions? Um, say it clearly. Will tagging someone really transfer who it's... Who's it? It won't just multiply? Aha, uh -huh, why don't you try it out? Wait! Let's go after him, Sarah. We have to give chase. We certainly do. Let's save up for a moment, though, for goodness sakes. Hmm. Incidentally, um... Hayasaka can set the timer back, while Katara can set it forward. Hmm. Really? If you don't win the battle within eight turns, someone will die. Fine, then. We'll have to move to the library. Where'd you go, meow? Seaweed head. Everyone stop. Let's listen to it for his footsteps to find out where he's going. Ugh, loud. What's this noise? I can't hear Jack Blank. Hey, I wonder where that is. What, what that is. Say Midori somewhere. Saw Midori somewhere. Did you now? Did you saw him, Kutaro? Hmm... No, look over there. Something's coming clo closer. Well then, what's going on here then? Oh, it's an obstructor. A uh, book's attacking us? This sounds like an Atlia thing. Uh, it's so noisy in here. What the hell? It's okay. It's just a book. Let's calmly deal with it and chase Midori. For now, we need to focus on the obstruction in front of us. This book is floating in midair. I can't help being distracted by this noise. I'll go find where it's coming from. Okay, let's search with Rico. Mm. Just heard it there. Rico took a smartphone from the gap below a bookshelf. Obtain a noisy smartphone. <laughs> As usual, it's unusable. Right. What's the next thing? The book began to circle through the air. It's like it's trying to... S another book started floating. 
They're multiplying. I see. Now this is a pickle. Uh, I'll make any noise making garbage in the dust. Okay, Hinako. You're a creepy little girl. The smartphone broke and stopped making noise. I feel a little refreshed now. Fine, the books are noisily clatching, clacking their teeth. The books can circle the air. Oh gosh, we need to find the source of this. We can't fight them, we need to find the source of why they're multiplying and then that stop them. They keep on multiplying. Right then, search room with Kana. Kana knows where the noise is coming from, so sh shall, she'll go get it. Go ahead and Kana. <laughs> oh, that's you. A little animation. I found it, here it is. Kana took an alarm clock from the back of a bookshelf. Obtained an alarm clock. How do we stop the noise? Well, we destroy it, obviously. Let's see. The books are flying around as if to show off. The books all went to attack. Why is Hayasaka the target? Why is it always me? Hayasaka quickly hid in a bookshelf to escape danger. Righty who then? Run a move. You got anything making noise? I'll crush it for you. Go ahead then. And smash. Run a move. Smash. How's that? It's in pieces now. Fine. The books are flapping around like birds. The books begin to circle for yet again. Another book started floating. Uh, okay. Gah. How are we going to handle this fight head on? Them head on. What annoying books, meow. Come down and fight Muscle Gorilla Man fair and square. That be its own can of worms. Alright. Everybody stop. This is a library. Let's be quiet. Alright. Let's be quiet then. On KG signal, everyone stopped. Oh, I didn't even mean to click out of the game. Aha! The books return to their original shelves. Be quiet in the library, I suppose. Silence returns to the library. Are you okay, student specs? I'm alright. More importantly, where's Midori? He got away. We need to find him quickly or service so collar. Right, my collar. When I bring my hand near it, a red light shines on my skin. How many minutes pass there? Not good if I don't hurry at all. Uh, is my collar tightening? <gasps> Sarah! No, it's my imagination. I know, I know. Don't I? I've overcome this kind of feeling again and again. Again and... I don't want to die. Right. Okay. Mm, you can never get used to this. No, I can't look uneasy. My eyes are watching. I'm providing everyone support, so I... Huh, huh. Please let Kana do it. Huh? I feel a warm hand on my back. When we first met, you calmed me down like this, Sarah. Now you're... What are you doing, Kana? Stop! It's okay. I don't intend to become a sacrifice. I'm sure we can do something. Let's find M Midori, okay? Kana. Well, I respect the attitude, Kana. Keiji gently touch <laughs> Kana's shoulder. Ah! It's Mr. X, please, Miss Turn. Gotta apprehend the back bad guy. That's a ticket, KG. KG? Huh. It's uncool for adults to make a kiss cross a dangerous bridge. Now, we need everyone on this. Let's split up again and search. Ta! <laughs> yeah. We're gonna find him and end this. We'll definitely find him. Robin, let's go, Wolf. Everyone. Thank you. Hmm. Righty who then? Yes, indeed, I think this is what this is called something. Hmm. As I thought, we need to return some books. Right, yellow book. Please return it. Seems this book was bought from the library. We got the yellow book. Ah, it's summarizing the physical exam stuff that was on a computer. Well, then let's not read the goddamn book. Green book. Alright, get that one. Well, there's something written in it. Really? Take it from him! 
Don't look, it's a trap. For real, got it, I'll put it back. Got you now. The trap was me saying that. Look, just read it, alright? Hey there, it's me. For deaf game participants around the nation troubled by obstructions, I bear good tidings. Believe it or not, I'll tell you the weakness of the strongest obstructor doll, Maple. Ah, it's the one with maple syrup on her head and pancake on her head. It's the crevice in her back. Remember this and you'll soon be an obstructor master. One of the obstructors' weaknesses. Annoyingly written, but this is good to know. True, though, I hope we never have to meet this strongest obstructor. You already did. It was in that little ca cafe. No, it was in that bedroom, for goodness sakes. Righty ho then, so next up is the fourth floor Dis discussion room. This ain't no discussion room. Okay, can I? Uh, so I'm a little curious about something. The knife we use for the puzzle here, it isn't lying around anywhere. Hmm, so does someone have it? Kuramoto is sticking his head into a hole. <laughs> There's something in the back of it, but I can't reach it. There's something there? It's a blue book. Say something about returning it on time. If you want your hands on it, bring over that pro wrestler old timer. Kutawa, I wonder where he is. Then let's go get him then. Hmm, cemetery. You two. Yo, sir, you found anything? Couldn't think of it. Kiyomada was asking for Kitaro. Uh, we need some with long arms. We need someone with long arms. What do you mean? True, I'm tall, so I've got long arms too. Anyway, I'll help you if you need it. Let's get rolling, Mai. Let's get rolling. These two are kind of like really for each other because they're both quite contraries. Mm, enter the passage. No. What? Why are, we, why are we back here? Hmm. So slow. Hurry up and get it. You really gonna talk to me like that? <laughs> Guitar reached into the hole and got the book. Obtained a blue book. Oh, it's soaping wet. Should be able to make out bits and pieces at least. Let's see. When Shin saw me today, he once again gave me a smile and playfully said good morning. What's this creepy book? A diary? Shin. Sarah! The front cover says... Shin Tiskimi AI test data. AI test data? You don't mean, is this experiment log Madori wrote? Uh, Sarah? Is it okay if Kana inspects that book? Huh? Please, I want to know at least a little more about Sal. Kana still hardly knows anything about him. She wants to know why Sal risked his life to protect her. Protect you? Hey now, haven't you guys been voting to kill each other? Don't try and make it some heartwarming story. In the end, you guys forsook that Sal guy. Why, you shut your trap. It's fine. Ever since Kana came here and got separated from her sister, part of her has been thinking that maybe it'd be easier to... No, shut up, Kana! Don't do this to yourself! But Sal taught her that you absolutely shouldn't lose to that urge. There won't be a way unless we believe. <laughs> oh, shut up, Kuamada. Grr. Well, how do you mean you shouldn't lose? Huh? You mean you gotta win, right? Ain't this a match against Asuna... Asunaro? A match? Hey, old man Kutawa, you're an athlete too, so you ought to learn this. Not losing and winning are completely different things, little missy. Please don't call me little missy. Brat. That's worse! Kana? I can't give this to you yet, Sarah. So I might need it for a puzzle. I see. So later, after this game of tag, I want you to investigate it yourself. So that we can win. Yes! Hmm. That's right. First, we'll win the game of tag. Let's resume our search, Master. Quit with that already. <laughs> Master Kutaro. <laughs> oh dear. Boxing ring. What about this boxing ring which we need to touch? 
arena sturdy. We can't then. Hmm. Oh, we just need to actually do that. My bad. Righty who? Where to next? Where is the discussion room here? Like, there's no. No, oh, maybe this room over here. Ah, this is the discussion. Ah, oh, welcome. So you came back. So only pairs can enter this room, right? Yeah, so Madoi wouldn't be here, right? Still, he could take advantage of that assumption. I guess that's true. Seems like a floor master can do whatever. Floor master? You mean Hayori? Oh, uh, right. Yeah, could you tell us about him? Hayori. Hayori, Hayori. She's acting kind of funny, huh? For now, let's search this room. For this red book. Please return on time. Wouldn't this be a book from the library? Yes, take the book. But well, I'm guessing she's not going to let us take it that lightly. Perhaps we should... Hmm... Red, green... Let's read it. Hey, there it's... Okay, we've already done that. Um... Maple... Blue... What a shame. Are you going already? How oh, bad. We're in a hurry! It's okay. You should look busy. It must be hard. Hey, have you become friends? Friends? We're allies. We're allies. <laughs> I'm happy you're getting along. Come again. Shut up, you. You may look innocent, but you're the most evilest of obstructors of them all. Right. We need to go back to the library. Right. This one needs the red book. Let's insert into the gap. Insert the book. Now we need the blue book. Insert that one in there. There's the green book into that gap. And then the yellow book in this gap. And it should do something. Aha. Something is... Something is, anyways. What's this? It looks like a set of stairs on bookshelves. Heard a heck of a sound. What's this? Stairs? Madoi might be up there. Sarah Senpai, go on ahead. We'll, cut, we'll call everyone over the PA. All right, let's move, Sarah. Idiot, my head's gonna fly off. You watch here that Midori doesn't escape until the broadcast ends. Roger that. We just gotta go, Sarah. Right, won't let him get away again. Can we do it, though? I don't know. Right. So... Fifth floor library. Touch the spaces of the missing books to return each one. Climb the stairs. Right. We need to go up here then. And there he is, obviously. Midori! Ah, so you came. Well, are you done passing around that dirty roll of being it? That's not it at all. We're all allies. Is that so? That's perfect in its own way. How beautiful. More importantly, just checking, but... A gun is against the rules of tag, right? Sure, as long as you're going to follow the rules. Kept us waiting, Midori. We won't let you run anymore. Always skittering around. I won't forgive you even if you apologize, meow. Now this is troubling. You're being disturbingly cocky. No, I really am troubled. Because look, I don't even have a collar to play tag with. What do we do, meow? Even if we tag him, there's no point, Wolf. No way. Ah, I did say you should have given me that back that collar, didn't I? What will you do if you give it back? I'll put it on. But of course, only once you leave here, slowly. Or else, do you want us to kill each other violently after all? Take your pig, Miss Sarah. Enough! What is it, KG? It's just strange, isn't it? It's too good to be true. Feels like you've got something planned. Planned? I can't see this futile chase as anything but a time waster. Midori, I wonder if you're waiting for something to happen within us. Within... Our bodies? Within our bodies? <laughs> you're cute when you're dim-witted, sir, but allies. I mean our allies. You mean the dummies are gonna do something like expire? That's right. Ultimately, their assassins sent my Midori. Maybe they have some kind of mission. They're in cahoots with Midori, meow? But, but, 
but soon expects the others went for all the same stuff as us. That's true. Come to think of it, why is Guitar and Mai here? It can't be. It's the dummy's aim to... Let's hurry and find Muscle Gorilla, Meow. Yeah, let's do that. Right. Yeah, let's go to the security system and look for this. Where's Kutaro? Big Cicero. Where the graves are? I looked at the monitor showing the cemetery. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, Kitaro. Ah, uh. oh, sorry, Master. You. I was always thinking of when to do it. Why would you? <laughs> I'll tell you the true objective of us dummies to kill our partner before Midori dies. That's the only way we can survive. Uh. Have the dummies been waiting for an opportunity from the start? <laughs> Such a terrible rule, isn't it? Big Cicero, we have to go. Yeah, to Kutaro. One of you will make it. Shut up, Yuse. Of course we'll make it to Kutaro. He is a big man after we ran as fast as we could. Nearly tripping over ourselves, we head to, for the cemetery where Kutaro was. A large knife stabbed into his back. The blood pouring out was burned into my mind. It's okay, if anyone can survive that is Kutaro. He's a big bulky man after all. Kutaro! Master Gorilla, where are you, Meow? In one of the graves? It's okay, I'm alright. Kutaro! Never been more glad about working on my body than today, I'll tell you. How'd you screw that up? What a moron, to get killed before you even could. I ain't killed her. Huh? She just knocked her away a little. She probably just shut down. What the? You didn't kill her? Are you stupid? Why would you ease on her? She's seriously meant to take your life. That ain't what she really thinks. That goes for all you guys, right? Midori's got your lives in his hands, so you've just been forced to do this, right? We're the same, you and us. Kutaro, just stop this. I'm sick of us pinning death on each other. Working with, work with us, dummies. What are you saying? We won't do nothing to you guys, Hinako. So let's get through this, you guys too. Don't be stupid, didn't you hear the rules? One or the other has to die, we... Is doing as you're told gonna lead to victory? We're gonna win, right, Kuramada? If somebody turns traitor, how are we gonna see victory? We all gotta believe, or no miracle's gonna happen. We. We're gonna become true allies now. Kutaro is crying. Not from the pain of his wound. Yeah, that's one thing as well. The pain of his wound is the least of his pain. His heartfelt cry is shaking the room. Let me treat that, Kitaro. Ranamu, idiot, how could you fall for that? Oh, shut up. Shoot, we have nothing to use for treatment, but if I wonder if, I, if we could do something. All I've got is this hood, but should I tear up to help stop the bleeding? You're all such idiots. I mean, why not? These guys are interesting. Seriously now. You picturing defying us and winning, little Miss Middle Schooler? Shut up. All right, the bling stop. This ain't as bad as it looks. Doesn't really seem that way to me. KG, sit down. At least get some rest. Mike can't move either. You can't leave an ally behind, right? Ha <laughs> ha, you got that right. If we find anything for medical treatment, we'll bring it right away. I thought there was something with medical treatment somewhere within the, this floor, the next one. Don't sweat that. Focus on doing what you gotta do. Yeah. I feel it. A sense of unity! Truest, sorry, trust in the truest sense. Guitar has connected himself. He's bonded with us. Now, it's about time to end this game of tag. Gotta catch M Midori and figure something out. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Attempt to move to somewhere. Ah, no need to search. Tag is over. He put on a spare collar. 
Show yourself as bold as always. Going flint. So flaunt that gun again. No trust at all, huh? Fine, I'll give it to you. Midori took something out of his pocket and tossed it towards KG. This is... That's the gun you used, isn't it? Gah! It's my... Why do you have one from... KG suddenly began raving. What is it? Why do you... Ah, did I bring back some bad memories? Ha, huh, so that's why you sought to join the force. Then was your goal to become a friendly neighborhood policeman? No, I just want to return it as promised. His good luck charm. Ha <laughs> then go and give it to him. He's still if he's still pleased, you'll see him soon. You'll see him! You'll see him soon! <laughs> right, his name was... Him, huh? No, that wouldn't be possible. Eh? Uh, he left the force. I'm sorry. Is that so? Even though he had this child, I suppose he took another path. Uh, KG? Come on, man! That guy. Yeah, he quit, sure enough. So was he was your co-worker. Yeah, but I wouldn't get involved with him. Huh? It's hard to say it here, but... He was fired for trying to expose a certain darkness among the police. He was always devoted to justice so he could be a parent his... So he could be a parent his kid would look up to. A darkness? What exactly was it? Dunno, if I did, I might get fired too. Well, then who had him fired? It was Miss Megumi. Of course, you kept an eye on her too, so long as you want to stay with the police. My head! Ugh. Come on, KG! Coronal units, the suspect has a gun. No civilians present, you are authorized to fire. Don't let him flee the scene. There's nowhere to run. Drop your gun. Ooh, ah! Damn it, he lost his cool. I'll fire a warning shot. We need to stop him. KG, watch out, he's gonna shoot. Boink. Huh? That can't be. That shouldn't have happened. I wasn't aiming for... KG, are you okay? I'm alright. So, KG wants to aim for somewhere else, but instead KG got his head. Uh, I shouldn't have noticed. I shouldn't have seen his face. Yep. No. Way. The criminal was his idol. The criminal was a person he looked up to. What a strange thing. Turns out the criminal didn't have a gun. There was no witnesses, so Megumi used her position to suppress the incident. She wants to hide the murder of a subordinate of self-defense. Why do you know? How much of a grasp do you have on the police? How much? Indeed. Enough to feed false info about the gun. And enough to insert a fired policeman into your tragic story. Maybe. Cage, watch out, he's gonna shoot. Aha, uh -huh, just as good an actor as I was then, aren't I? <laughs> I see. So that's it. I'll kill you. I am going to kill you! Well, you seem motivated. <laughs> oh dear, what's he gonna do? Yikey who's man? Hmm. Where do we go in this scenario? How nice hatred is. It lets me see a person want satisfy a person 100%. Now you die, Midori. Ah, let us play on the greater stages. What is this? A graveyard for broken dolls. Midori and Cage are staring each other down. Calm down, Cage. Let's work together to corner him. That's a good idea. Hmm. Let's see. 
If you don't beat Midori with nine turns, the dog ends a little differently. No tears with. Well, sorry, while Midori is staggered, it does not count towards those turns. Okay. Now let's do this before nine turns. So Kana. KG! Kana will block his escape. Please tag Midori. Okay. It's no use. It's too fast for Kana to keep up. We need to work together more. Okay then, Kutaro. Midori and Keiji just own each other down. Uh, dummies, won't you assist? Hold on, if Midori really dies from tag, what's going to happen to us? Um, well, huh. you can say we're unified, but Keiji's seriously aiming to kill him. But if we lose, Keiji will... Midori isn't paying attention to me. I'll approach from his blind spot. Go with this then. <laughs> Creep along to his legs. What the hell? <laughs> I'm close, it's okay. I won't let him notice me. Give him the signal when it's a good time. I'll grab his leg. We're doing Cage to stone each other down. Okay. Select Cage to calm him down. Cage, it won't turn out very well if you shoot me in anger, you know. Midori kicked a doll head that was lying around at Cage. Cage took a direct hit and lost his balance. Cage. Damn it! Midori! Cage is not in a good condition, I need to calm him down. Calm him down. It's okay, KG. <laughs> Thank you. I can still do this. Midori and Cage just own each other down. Dummies! Fight with us already, meow! Certain sus. Certain specs! Right then. It's again Kana's turn. Please, Kiramada, help me and catch help me to catch Midori. Kiramada stops Kana. What are you doing? Nothing else I can do, right? Stop it! If we lose Keiji, we'll. Mm. Let's see. Mm. It is required for him to stop you at least once during the battle. Right. Why don't you give up already and tag Sarah, KG? I got closer. I'm gonna grab his leg. Oh. Grab his leg. I've caught you, Midori. You won't escape. But what? Kitaro is training Midori with all his might. Kitaro is grabbing Midori's leg. Hmm. Right. Please, KG, find some way to tag him. Is he freed again? Oh, no. Huh? We did it. KG successfully tagged him. So, I've lost. You truly keep surpassing my expectations. Keep your distance, everyone. Don't let Midori tag you. Ah, through to the end. Hey, KG, since you've won, I'll give you a chance to re overcome your trauma. To face the dead. That's another reason why a, a Sanaro makes artificial intelligence. You don't mean. Look, he's right at your feet. Damn it, you. What? Still can't do it, then. While Keiji was distracted, Midori forcefully pushed him away. Oh dear. And into the coffin. Ah, my coffin was just in the right spot. Let me out, Midori! No, Keiji! Keiji! Hey, I'll let you in on something neat, Miss Sarah. These coffins come with a very handy feature. Da da! They can cremate right on the spot! You mean he'll be burned? The time was already running. If you aren't quick, he'll soon be staked. For goodness sakes, man. That's no good whatsoever. Let him out! Mr. Policeman's gonna die! So here's my suggestion as floor master. I never said that losing at tag meant death, did I? If you want, if you would hear out just one wish of mine, I'll tell you a way you can save KG. What wish? What's your wish? I'll have you sign that consent form. That sheet. 
is the last one. Once you sign it, it'll be complete. There's definitely something up. What other choice do I have? There's no other way to save KG. The rest is up to you. Answer my request and save KG. Or stick to your intentions and kill KG. Choose whichever you like, Sarah. Okay, so that's the first section of this chapter done. Hmm. Oh, duh, proceed. We need to find a way to save KG. It's dark. Where is this? Punch your way out. <laughs> uh, what's out of here? Why did I join the police? Well, I guess you could s say I was looking for something. Let me out of this cage. What am I going to need? So, what am I going to name my kid when he's born? Well, it's going to be a good manly name you can trust. <laughs> Get me out of this darkness now. Let me out. Mm. Let me out of here. Hallucination. Calm down, KG. Uh? Don't be so quick to resort to punching. Surely I taught you that. Right, KG. Now it's his own hallucination that's getting him. Hmm. Yikes. The coffin went silent. Sheesh, so you finally settled down. He must be awfully scared of his execution. <laughs> what if this happened? Keiji lost the fight against Midori, and now he's trapped in that center coffin. Since the dummies' lives were on the line, they weren't able to assist us. Because of that, now there's a rift between us and the dummies. What can we do? I don't know what we could do, but we're going to save it for the next time, folks. This is definitely fascinating. Although, I do want to see the dummies make some kind of cooperation with us. Considering, you know, if it wasn't for us, then they wouldn't be around and stuff like that. So, thank you so much for watching, folks. See you all the next time of your turn to die. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves.